conservative new media viewers, we've got a story that apparently involves ghost, the supernatural, and paranormal activity. A couple who was living in a Tom's River, New Jersey rental home claims that the house is haunted and they will not be moving back in. The couple, Jos Ue Chinchilla and Michelle Callan, are taking their landlord, Dr. Richard Lopez, to court in an attempt to recoup their security deposit. The landlord, according to reports, is countersuing the couple. We will include several links to articles about this story in the video description below the video player. Each of the reports contains unique information on the story, as we have noted beside the links. So we encourage you to read all three of the links in order to obtain all of the details on this fascinating incident. The couple reportedly moved into the home on March 1st, 2012. There were apparently four people living in the house. Chinchilla, Callan, Callan's teenage daughter, and a six-year-old boy. The couple are engaged. According to the linked WLTX report, the family moved out of the house on March 11th and is now staying at a nearby motel. There are several elements of this story that make it, at least for me, far more interesting than your average haunted house claim. Let me explain. First, the town of Toms River, New Jersey, which we will provide a Google Maps link to in the video description so you can see for yourself where it is, is where the classic haunted house movie The Amityville Horror was filmed. Now. To be clear, Tom's River is not the location of the actual house about which the Amityville Horror was based on. That house is located in Amityville, New York, which is on Long Island. We will include a Google Maps link to Amityville, New York, so that you can see that location as well. Second, Chinchilla and Callan have apparently gone to great lengths to substantiate their story of the house supposedly being haunted. They have reportedly allowed two paranormal investigation teams into the house to examine. Both of those teams supposedly found information to suggest that the house was, in fact, haunted. Additionally, a pastor from a nearby town has also supposedly inspected the home and found that there is evidence of, quote-unquote, demonic possession. Third, the couple reportedly claims to have recorded a voice in the house saying, quote, let it burn, unquote. Fourth and finally, Chinchilla, according to the WLTX write-up, was forced to check into a hospital for panic attacks he apparently claims were due to the strange occurrences inside the home. According to the couple, all manner of odd happenings were taking place in the home. Lights flicking on and off by themselves, doors opening and shutting by themselves, footsteps being heard in the home where nobody was, apparitions supposedly appearing, clothes being thrown about when no one was home, and strange voices and whispers being heard. So, what is the truth here? I can't claim to know what is happening in this instance. I was not there with the couple. However, something does seem amiss here. Chinchilla says he does not believe in the paranormal. Now, we don't know if this is true or not, what he is saying but this does not seem to be someone who is seeing ghosts around every corner either. Also, as Callan herself says, what would be the point of the couple and their children moving out of the house just 10 days into a new lease when they supposedly were paid up through the end of the month? As far as I can tell, the family is living on their own dime at the nearby motel. If the couple were simply making up this story, doesn't this seem to be a pretty foolish way to do so? And 
why would the couple go through so much publicity and outside investigations if this were all just a sham? I know what the cynics might say. That's the point. The couple may want to get famous and get out of their lease, and this is just the way to do so. Well, the cynics could be right, but this would seem to be an awfully difficult and tedious way for a family to try to seek fame and fortune, in my opinion. We may find out more about this story soon. According to the NJ.com write-up, a hearing for the couple's lawsuit against the landlord is scheduled for the end of April 2012. Now, share your thoughts about this story in the comment section below. Do you believe this couple when they say the house is haunted? If you moved into a haunted house, would you stay there? Do you believe in haunted houses at all? You tell us below. Also, please be sure to let us know what you thought about this video by clicking on the thumbs up or thumbs down button underneath the video player. Thanks. Finally, we encourage you to come and join the fun on the Conservative New Media Facebook group. You will find the link to the group in the video description. This is Paul F. Villarreal reporting, and you're watching Conservative New Media. Thanks for watching.